Hey everyone, so I have been done with my maxillary expansion for quite a while. The expander has been out of my mouth for quite a while. And I've just been in this waiting period where I've been finishing up my Invisalign treatment to move on to double jaw surgery, which is coming up in mid-December, super exciting. So I thought I'd just give a quick update. I have some cool photos to share, which are some before, during, and after photos. Um, and you can see that my maxilla is much wider um, you can see that from the frontal view um, as well, where I have less of the dark spaces to the side of my mouth. So a lot more space for my tongue, <clears throat> as well as a wider nasal cavity, which is super awesome. However, my, as I reported in my last video, um, when I had first finished expansion, my nasal breathing was perfect, slowly started to get worse over time. Now it's kind of continuing to get worse. So at this point, my nasal breathing, it's still better than it was before I did the whole expansion, but it's still not great. Um, I'm not super worried though. I think that there could be some other things going on. I'm still using the CPAP every night uh, and I'm still waking up a lot. And I think there's just a lot going on. Um, and I also, don't think that nasal breathing was really the biggest contributor to my um, sleep apnea. And I have some evidence for that now, which is that I got my drug induced sleep endoscopy, um, which I'll talk about in another video. So I, as I reported in my last video, I'm not feeling better, um, but my nasal breathing is a little better. Um, I'm still really happy I did it. I really think that with the upcoming double jaw surgery, everything will kind of come together. I feel that with a lot of these cases like mine, there's not just one reason for sleep apnea. I, you know, for me personally, I've gotten large turbinates, I've got really recessed jaws, I've got, I had a narrow maxilla and a narrow nasal cavity. I think it's not abnormal that I treated one thing, or, or I should say it's not abnormal that one thing is it gonna isn't gonna solve all your problems, but you still need it, and you might not get to the full recovery that you'd like without it. So, I kind of expected this. It's just part of the process. Uh, I really think after double jaw surgery, that'll really be when we see how well this is uh, all going. And I figured, hey, I'll give you a little close up look. So, here is my here's my wider smile. Anyway, so that's it for now. So I'll try to be putting out some videos. It's got some other stuff going on, but try to be putting out more updates, especially as I start moving into double jaw surgery.